record. Um, this is Tim McCon. He's going to be running uh, Infamous 2 uh, while I tell you a little bit about uh, what the UGC content is all about. So what he's doing here is he's going to start creating a mission uh, from a template. So basically what we have is every archetype that you know from the game already um, that you play in the single player game, we have just a bare bones template and allow the user to basically um, show their creativity on top of that. So you can see all of these nodes, um, they're, correct they're correctly hooked up right now and they're functioning. So uh, he's gone in, I think, to an assassination template. We're gonna play it for you and show you what it's like before and then he's gonna go in and he's gonna do what we call remix. All right, so he's given, uh, he's given direction here that says take out the speaker. So he finds the speaker, boom, taken out, and mission complete. So as you can see, that's very bare bones, not, not too exciting. He's gonna get in there and try to do something to make it more interesting. All right, so he's putting a rocket guy up on top of the tower. That'll be good. And uh, he's got two guys adjacent to that. Top line is basically the core objects that, that, that come with the game, and you always have access to those. These other ones are content packs, which we are going to deliver to users uh, via PlayStation Network, and we have a bunch of those active now. So as you can see, you can just flip through the list of um, different content packs and choose the types of things you wanna do. Like this is a collectibles pack, so it's kinda cool. You can do all sorts of platforming missions and whatnot. We have all the basic things that you see in the in the in-game missions, of course, and then UGC gets to uh, put in a lot of other stuff above and beyond that. That's, that's awesome. So what he's setting up now is uh, he's going to make the the speaker alerted to Cole's presence if any of the militia guys see him. So he's setting up a script command now. Action is the is the top level thing you can do, and there's a lot of different things off of that uh, that allow you to. Uh, control the way enemies and NPCs work. He's chosen a move to point so that the uh, speaker will run as soon as the militia alert them. They're basically set to default right now to use their default behavior. The mission designer, of course, can override that um, whenever he likes or she likes and um, you know make guys cower or make guys, specific example, make them run. So now he's starting up the mission again and he shoots towards a militia and you see as soon as that militia got shot at, he ducked and then the speaker ran from the podium. So now the mission just got more difficult, okay? Before it was just an easy take the guy out mission you saw right where he was. Now your Cole has to figure out where the guy is and he also deal, has to deal with the extra enemies that have been put down. The strength of this system uh, is that you can remix any level that, that is published up to the servers. You know, when we go live, everyone's gonna be building missions, and if you see a mission you like, but you think you can do it better, all you have to do is remix it, just like Tim just did with this mission. Besides the assets that I showed you earlier, there's a, there's a number of different logic components that you can put down. I mean, this is one of the most powerful tools we have. If he flips through those categories, you'll see that you can link that up to any one of these other objects that um, he's scrolling through at the top. So you're basically, you're modifying what they're gonna do, and then you tell who that acts on, and you tell what the exact action is going to be. If you hook a monitor up, you can listen for when a guy enters a certain area, and you can lay those all over your mission, and uh, when the player goes through certain areas, it triggers other things, and those other things can trigger other things. Uh, I've seen like the, the network of uh, components these guys have in their missions is insane. Our baseline is basically do a mission as cool as Infamous 2. Above and beyond that, uh, some of my favorite things, gameplay that's completely out of the norm. I think that's one of the things that uh, UGC players really respond to. We played this uh, Space Invaders mission, and we played it and we loved it, and uh, we're, we're demonstrating the remix feature today on, on that mission. There's a real variety of things to, to do, and um, every day I'm surprised when I see somebody come up with a new uh, mission that's sort of out of the norm, and yet they all work.